before we can make the switches actually control the face, we need to set up limits so they feel like real switches. Like right now, I could just kind of move this anywhere. Okay, so, and before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here and clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna select all of the curve stuff here. And um, with the exception of, of the eyes, I don't want those selected. And I'm gonna go edit, delete by type history, and then control G to group it. And then I'm gonna call this a GUI, G-U-I, for graphical user interface. And this is gonna be I aim. And then if I open this up, I could say that this is the L, or no, it would be R, I aim for right eye. And then L, I aim, there we go. And on the GUI, um, okay, so I'll say this is face controls, smile, okay, and then we have, um, so I could say that this is the, um, overall and then we have um, this is smile box And if you want to move this around just to organize it, I can middle mouse drag and drop like up there. There we go. And I'm going to call this uh, smile control. Angry control. Okay, good. There we go. Um, Excellent. So now that I've got that named, I can see that this one got moved a little bit. I can move that up and maybe look at this from the orthographic front. Turn off that. And I could change my background, Alt B. There we go. Um, now, to make these feel like they're actual sliders, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zero out their transformation. So what that means is that right now, this is how far away they are from the center of the scene, okay, where they were born. But I'm gonna say that I don't care how far away they are from the center of the scene. I'm gonna go to Modify, Freeze Transformation. And you can see that that zeroed it out. So now its own location is considered kind of the, um, the most important. And you'll see why that's important in a second. Good. So all those are zeroed out. In fact, I could go like this. I could select everything and go modify freeze transformation. Now every single object is nice and clean, okay? But the most important are the circles here. So now I'm gonna go to the attribute editor and in the first tab, okay? And I can see that that's the smile control. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna go to limit information and I'm gonna limit translate okay and i'm going to tra uh, limit translate y so here's translate y and if i push this over so this is zero right here um, and if i check this for the minimum you'll notice that i can't push it down any farther than that okay now if i bring this up like let's say that's the max that i want to do it I could either type that value in or I could just push this value over by clicking on this arrow and it's going to populate that. And as soon as I click max, now that is going to be my max. And now you can see that that's my slider. Okay. So once again, for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start zero is my minimum. I can't push it down any farther. Then I can go up here, push this over, and now that's my max. Okay, good. Same thing here. Yeah, 
That looks good. And one more. Excellent. Okay, good. And now I could say, I don't want that to be translated forward, back, or even left and right. So maybe I populate zero on all of those and lock that as well. Okay, so now it can only be moved up and down like that, okay? In fact, if I wanted to have more control, even on that, um, sometimes you'll notice that what riggers do is they don't want anybody to screw this up. So in other words, like, I could see that somebody could still come in here and rotate it. Well, maybe I could say this. I'm going to go in and go to all of these, and I could lock those. So if I right-click and go to lock, now if somebody comes in here and tries to rotate it, you can see that it's locked. It's only allowed to be translated. In fact, I could also lock this and this one. And now you can see that I could only move that up, and, up or down, okay? Now if I wanted to get really fancy, I could go like this. I could go to lock and hide selected. And then I could go all except for maybe visibility and translate Y. I could go lock and hide. Now you can see that I can only move that up and down. There's no question of what I could do. It's not even gonna let me move it anywhere else. So once again, I'll hold down control. I'll select translate. X and then all of these other ones and go to lock and hide and same with this one lock and hide and then on this one I'll hide these so I could say hide selected since they're already locked okay great now I can see that 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 seems really clean right obviously I don't want anybody to move this stuff so what I could do is I could select all of this with the exception of these and I could put this on a layer over here and I could call this um, GUI oh I'm gonna call it GUI underscore visibility and I'm going to uh, template that that way I can still see it I can still grab these and I can move them and if I wanted to make these uh, kind of more exciting, um, a different color, I could just go into the um, attribute editor and under display, okay, so once again on that first tab, this is where we did the limit information and below that is display. I could come down here to drawing overrides and I could say enable override and then I could go ahead and pick a color. Uh, maybe I'll have these green. Okay. And I'll enable an override. Maybe I'll select both of these, enable an override. And it looks like I have to do one at a time, unfortunately. Okay, great. So now I've got my controllers ready and you can see how kind of user friendly that is it's very obvious that those are the uh, you know the things that I'm going to be adjusting so in the next lesson I'm going to show how to kind of hook these sliders up to control the face now that we have it working